Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the movies that I watched during the month of November, so stick around. So today I thought I would go ahead and tell you all of the movies that I watched during the month of November that I've logged on my Letterboxd account. So definitely look up my Letterboxd account if you're interested in checking out and following along with what all I've watched during the month of November. Um, first up, I did see some movies in the theater. So I'm going to go over a few of those first. I also watched a few on Netflix. So on the 1st of November, I did watch Hush um, on Netflix. Really good movie. I had just finished watching um, Midnight Mass on um, Netflix during the month of October. And so I heard about the movie Hush and I wanted to check that one out. Excellent movie. I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. And then on the second day, I watched The Guilty. Now, The Guilty is a very um, different kind of movie. Um, it's got just a few characters in it, and I thought it had a really great story. Um, it's also on Netflix if you want to check that one out. It, it does have Jake Gyllenhaal in it, and so I would highly recommend you check that one out also. So on the third day, I watched this movie called Pig with Nicolas Cage. Really good movie. I really enjoyed this one. I highly recommend you check this one out. Then on day four, I watched Hitchcock. Uh, this right here it was a great film. I really enjoy Alfred Hitchcock movies. And um, I forgot I actually had this one in the collection, but somebody did recommend that I check this one out. So I did finally open this one up and check it out. I highly recommend you check this out if you enjoy Hitchcock. It's got some really nice uh, behind the scenes type tales about Hitchcock and definitely check out the special features. Okay, let's see. So on day five, I went to the theater and I saw the James Bond movie, No Time to Die. Excellent film. I really enjoyed being able to see that one on the big screen. If you enjoy James Bond films, um, definitely go see that one before it leaves the theater. Um, but I highly recommend you check that out. Okay, on day six, I went to the theater again and watched Dune. Um, I really enjoyed Dune. I had never seen the original, so I was kind of lost in the movie a little bit. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to the continuation of that film. Very entertaining, uh, very different, and I would highly suggest you check out Dune if you haven't seen it. Okay, on day seven, I watched two movies. I watched um, Jungle Cruise. Um, this was a fun Disney movie. Um, don't really have much to say about it. It's just a family Disney movie. If you want to check that out, definitely check it out. But I also watched Inglorious Bastards on that same day. Excellent film. This is probably one of my favorite um, Quentin Tarantino films. If you've never seen Inglorious Bastards, I um, highly recommend you check this one out. Very good performances and a great story. Okay, let's see. I think I'm Instead of me naming off the dates, because I am getting a little bit confused about what days I'm watching everything, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is, um, I think this was on the 8th, I watched two films. I watched Planet Terror and Death Proof. I had actually seen these movies before, but after watching Inglorious Bastards, I did want to check out some more films that Quentin Tarantino was involved in, and I did enjoy revisiting Planet Terror and Death Proof. If you've never seen those films, definitely check those out. Um, really good stories. Um, a zombie type story for Planet Terror and just a really good action-packed story for Death Proof. So definitely check those out. Next up I watched um, on the 9th I went to the theater and I watched Last Night in Soho. Um, I really went into the movie not really knowing much about it uh, but I did enjoy it. A really good story. Um, something different that I hadn't seen before. And if you've never seen Last Night in Soho, I highly, I highly suggest you check that one out. Um, it should be on physical media here soon. So if you're not able to see that in the theater, definitely check it out when it comes out on Blu-ray. Okay, next up, I watched Prison. Um, I had never opened up this particular release, and I did go on. So I actually had Prison, the Blu-ray for Prison, Collector's Edition, but I didn't have the slipcover. And whenever, during October, I did my uh, complete Screen Factory um, video, 
I showed all my titles and people actually let me know that I was missing the slipcover for this one. So I did jump on eBay and I bought me another title of this, another copy of it with a slipcover. So I did take time to watch this and really enjoyed it. It's a great, um, it's a great, I don't even know if you would call it, I guess it's a horror film. Um, but it was good. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen Prison, definitely check that out. Okay, next up, I watched Free Guy. Um, I did get the still book early from the UK, and a lot of people were just raving about how good Free Guy was. I did watch it, and it was just okay to me. It wasn't the best movie I had ever seen. Um, it was a Ryan Reynolds movie, and it's pretty much the same thing that he does in all of his movies. Um, but I did watch Free Guy. I did enjoy it. Um, next up, I watched Sicario, Day of the Salado. Um, I, don't, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Um, I, had, I had actually seen Sicario, the first movie, a few months back. And I wanted to take time just to watch the sequel. I really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy this one as much as I enjoyed the first one. But this right here was very enjoyable and very happy that I was able to watch this one. Okay, the next film that I watched was Carlito's Way. Um which I had the still book for. I had never seen Carlito's Way and I decided I was going to go ahead and open up the still book and check it out. Wonderful movie. I, I enjoyed it from the start to the finish. Um, highly suggest you check this one out. Probably one of my favorite Al Pacino movies. Um, so Carlito's Way is one that you should definitely check out. Okay, next up I watched Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Um, I did get this one right here from Arrow Video. And um, I wanted to take time to watch it. I did do an unboxing of it. And I did take time to watch this one. It was a fun slasher um, slasher film from the 80s. Um, kind of corny. Uh, but it was an enjoyable watch. And I'm glad I was able to watch this one. Okay, the next movie I watched was another Nicolas Cage movie. And it was Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Um, this movie, it's a beautiful still book. But the movie itself um, wasn't very good to me. I'm trying to I'm trying to compare it to something, but I really can't compare it to anything. Um, it really started off really good. Uh, well, it started off good, uh, but it got kind of got worse as the story progressed. Um, but I am happy that I was actually able to see it for myself. Um, but Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Okay, next up I watched 99 Homes. Now this is a film that I wanted, I've been wanting to see for a very long time. It does have Andrew Garfield in it and Michael Shannon. Um, I really didn't know what this movie was about. And then when I watched it, you know, I understood what 99 Homes means. If you've never seen this film, I would highly suggest you check this one out. At least for a one-time watch. It was a good performance by both Michael Shannon and Andrew Garfield. So definitely check that one out if you have the opportunity. Okay, the next film that I saw, I want to say that I saw Antlers. Um, Antlers, I went to the theater, and so what I've been doing is I've been trying to go to the theater every Tuesday when the tickets are discounted, and I've been seeing a lot of movies at the theater, and then also over the weekends, I try to go to the theater at least once. So that's the reason why I see all these movies in the theater. But I did go see Antlers. Antlers was a good story. It's a dark, depressing story. Um... It's a horror type film, and when it comes on physical media, I'm anxious to pick it up, and I would highly suggest you check it out. If you've seen Antlers, I would really like to know what your comments are about it, so definitely leave me a comment below if you've seen Antlers. Okay, next up, I watched Songwriter. This right here has Chris Christopherson and Willie Nelson in it, and I did, I don't know why I opened this up to watch it, but I did. I did not like this movie. It was just okay. Very mediocre. But I did watch it. And then I also watched True Believer. Now True Believer has James Woods and Robert Downey Jr. in it. Um, this right here was a better story. I, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. The acting was not very good. Especially from James Woods. I, I would expect more from him. But um, check out True Believer if you've never seen that one. Okay, next up... I went and saw, I went and saw, next up I watched Rear Window. Um, I finally took time to watch um, Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. I had not seen this one before, 
and I wanted to check it out. I really enjoyed it. It was a first time watch for me and I'm very happy that I've got the still book and I'm very happy that I got to watch this film. It was very good. Um, next up I watched a movie on Netflix I believe called Polar and I really enjoyed it. It was action-packed, um, fast-paced, and I know it's been out for a few years, but somebody recommended me to check it out. And so I checked it out, and I really enjoyed it. If you've never seen Polar and you have Netflix, definitely check it out. Okay, next up I watched Swallow. Somebody had recommended that I open my um, Blu-ray up and watch this, so I did. Um, very strange film, um, I guess. If you've seen it, I would really like to know what you think about it in the comments below. Um, but I did enjoy it. Um, I don't want to give away too much of it. But anyway, it's called Swallow. Okay, next up I watched The Autopsy of Jane Doe, which I really enjoyed. The movie really started out very well for me. I, I liked the atmosphere of it. And then about halfway through, the movie kind of took a turn, which was good. But it was a different type of movie after that. But I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the performances. I enjoyed the eeriness of it, and so if you like horror films, I would highly suggest you check out Autopsy of Jane Doe. Okay, and then I went and saw Ghostbusters Afterlife in the theater. Um, I really enjoyed Ghostbusters Afterlife. I grew up watching Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. I saw those in the theater when they came out. I did um, reluctantly watch the reboot of Ghostbusters with the all-female cast that came out a couple of years ago, I think 2018. I watched that one on, on Blu-ray. I wasn't a big fan of that one. So whenever I heard that they were going to be doing another Ghostbusters movie, I was kind of, um, I didn't really know what to think about it, but when I went and saw it in the theater after everybody was raving about it, I'm very happy that I did get to see it. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought they did a great job continuing the story of Ghostbusters. And if you haven't seen it, I think if you check it out, you might really enjoy it. Okay, next up, on Thanksgiving, I watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Um, I've seen this many, many times, but I did want to watch it again on Thanksgiving. Um, it did get a new Steelbook Blu-ray release. Um, so if you've never seen Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, I would highly suggest you check that one out. And then I watched The Nightingale. Um, the reason why I watched this one is somebody recommended that I check this one out. It had been a while since I had the opportunity to... Um, it had been a long time since someone had recommended that I check this one out. So I did have time over the holiday weekend to do that. And so I did watch The Nightingale. It was a good story. It was different. It was dark. Uh, but I did like it. I do like the time period that this takes place in. Um, I like old stories. I like westerns. And I thought they did a really good job with this one. If you've never seen Nightingale, The Nightingale, definitely check that one out. Okay, next up, I finally took time and watched Drag Me to Hell. Um, man, I had never seen this one before. It is a Sam Raimi film. And you can, if you start watching it, you can kind of tell that it's a Sam Raimi film just because of all of the special effects and all the different things. Um, so very happy that I finally got the chance to take time to watch this one. I really do like this slipcover. I do have this release and I also have the Screen Factory release, uh, but I did open this one up to watch it. Okay, next up I watched on Sunday, I watched Ghost World. Um, this right here is a Criterion release. I've been meaning to want to, I have been meaning to see this one and finally took time to watch this one. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was different. Um, pretty easy to follow along. Very simple story. Um, if you've never seen Ghost World, I would highly suggest you check that one out. And then um, on Monday, I watched Identity. Um, someone had recommended that I check out Identity, and I finally did. I loved the story. I loved the way that it looked. A dark um, movie, uh, kind of like a whodunit type mystery, um, but it, it, there's a big twist. If you've never seen Identity, definitely check it out. Now, the only way that you can get Identity on Blu-ray is through this double pack. So I did recently order this one. I got it in the next day from Amazon. So if you want to check out Identity, definitely check that one out. But um, the last movie that I watched during the month of November was Vacancy. Since I already had the two-pack open, I've never actually seen Vacancy. I've um, heard some great things about this one. 
So I am um, very happy that I got to watch this. I'm very happy that I was able to get the two pack. Very enjoyable film. Very enjoyable film. I highly suggest you check both of those films out. So those are all of the movies that I saw during the month of November. It was a very busy month. November was a, a long month, 30 days. Um, I had just come off of doing the 31 days of Halloween video every day during the month of October, but I was able to watch movies throughout all of October. But um, with October, I actually broke off. I actually did videos every week of all the films that I saw during the month of October. So now, now I'm back on the schedule of doing it at the end of the month. So if you want to see any of these films, I highly suggest. Um, I think I liked pretty much all of them. But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you watched during the month of November. Also, let me know of any recommendations of any kind of films that you would recommend me checking out during the month of December. Because I really do appreciate your recommendations, and I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.